Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time on texture page and that stuff is very very important for you once your game reaches well, a specific size and you need to optimize it well, for specific platforms and that stuff is in my opinion a must to know. So just so you understand what's actually going on that is my first but ugly uh, well, uh, room and here it has 3000 uh, upwards frames per second which is quite nice and then you have like 10 texture swaps and that is just an indicator I will show you in a few seconds how you can show a debug message in your game and now wah, 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 it has completely tanked to 500 frames per second with 30 texture swaps which is actually terrible why is that so well there's almost nothing in the game for now and it already tanks and that is actually super super terrible so well and that is not a good thing and I didn't optimize my game of course I will do that so you uh, will see the result maybe in upcoming videos so if you want to optimize your game and want to understand how actually Game Maker Studio handles all your sprites in the end stay tuned this is one up indie I am the developer of the indie game clunky source and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day or every two days a video so let's get right into the good stuff so what does the game maker actually actually do once you uh, well, create an executable or just install the game with a, a game maker installer then it will create texture pages and what are texture pages well something like this so basically it just takes all your sprites your fonts and your um, tile sets and puts them together in a texture page. And as you can see, everything is just being like randomly put together. Um, that is maybe not the best thing to do. Or for example, let's open another one. So it actually looks kind of more cohesive. Yeah, as you can see, wham, a lot of things just put in together. Theoretically, it doesn't matter. Just put it all together. Not too good. And that is the thing you want to well separate in specific groups so game maker once again just makes all those text texture pages and if they are not assigned he just puts them together randomly and then it will just go after the game is started for the player and it just well it says all right load texture page one which is this one and please i want to have that coordinate and that thing here oh, for example i want now the tower let's go to this point with a width and height and just draw that stuff and then swap to another texture and all that stuff is going to get thrown in and out of the memory so the larger the texture page is um the bigger it becomes so the the loading times are getting bigger so for example if you go on the options the windows and if you go on the graphics you will have your texture page size which you can assign here and why is that so important well the bigger it is the more resources it will take because well it needs to load a bigger texture page so smaller ones are better but and here comes the but um the more swaps you have the more it will tank the performance negatively as well so basically if you have like really really small ones and you just like swapping between all those maybe it's not the best one as well and there is a cap on the swapping so what i show you at the beginning the the 30 swaps but if you are developing for let's say android devices or for iphone for iphone i guess i can confirm that you if you're having more than 10 swaps of texture pages well you're pretty much out of luck because then the app will be not allowed to be put on the app store just so just keep that in mind and another thing for example, if you want to optimize it for, let's say, um, old devices like the iPhone 1, which is quite old for now, um, it just accepts um, 10, 24 by 24 or lower resolution texture pages. But for the newer generations, let's say in a few years, few years that would be completely pointless um, because the, the devices are very, very fast now and the chips are pretty sweet. Um, but those lower texture pages will be a thing of the past but just keep that in mind so if you want to optimize it for even older models so just need need to have a golden um, well, uh, thing between uh, let's say the size 
and how many swaps you can have and if you can press on preview then it will create something like this then you will have all your texture pages for now i just have four which is pretty sweet um, but they are not optimized and i have to do that and that is the thing i will show you now so you just go on the tools texture groups and then well create a new one i just create one which is siege because some of my levels are siege levels and then as you can see nothing is in there but it should be and there you just assign your resources you can just add resources or you go into from your default which is always there and just assign it to your other texture group and here you just add it or delete it depending on what you want these kind of options i would just leave it out if you um, want to play around with them they have some very specific uses but for that i will just well leave it out for example that one um, crops out your points where you have um, what is that for example you're having an image let's go in here and it has some blank space which are just well transparency of zero so it's nothing so that stuff for example would be uh, cut out and once we are here on this mischievous looking cactus guy please don't do this i've seen that in the project and yeah don't do that for example this guy has a size of 960 pixels and to put it into perspective i just put it on under well assets so this is how you can plant and check out some stuff as you can see this dude is huge and this is effectively wasting lots of lots of resources so for example if you blow want to blow it up your game so i have my game to i don't know two gigabytes or whatever this is how you can do that so if you want to optimize it please don't and i can show you for example that i am um, well did the preview and here we go here we have the mischievous looking cactus guy completely taking up a lot of lot of space so as you can see the rest is nice pixel art but this guy come on what are you doing here but maybe for another thing for example if you're having like let's say higher resolution uh, pixel art and stuff well then it's a different story so just keep that in mind for example if you want to have like um, i don't know a nice background screen uh, for your um, title once your game is started that is a different story then of course the resource should be big but then of course you need to be careful because if you if your texture page is smaller than the actual image it will crop it and then sometimes you will get artifacts or even completely pixelated stuff which you don't want to have so keep that in mind that is very 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 important so that should be it hopefully that was uh, of interest to you so once you maybe um are in your and end phase and of your production phase of your game just keep that in mind and for example here show you you can here um, add as well for example this potato head i uh, know this, this this cactus guy to your texture group which is quite 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 important for your performance so i could boost that from my 500 to let's say 2000 something and that should be then all right again so this is just optimizing your game before releasing it just keep that in mind so um the last thing i wanted to show you so as you can see i wanted to show you the debug message and that is this little guy here so I put it in the create event or whatever you like or just to do it with that f clause you can uh, toggle it off and on and just show debug overlay on and then it has like three things your frames per second your texture swaps and your vertex charges whatever that is and so the first two ones are the more important ones and you have like this uh, thingy here and it's just showing you with different kind of colors how your performance is but uh, you can completely forget that uh, if you want to play around with you can do but for beginners i guess that it's just too many informations for now so this is a uh, one way to uh, improve your game Hopefully that was of interest to you. Have a good one. Wanna be.